Hello friend, I am Somali, back to with a new tutorial video regarding soil mechanics. In this video, we are planning to conduct how to measure the bearing capacity of pile because our aim is find out the pile capacity. In soil mechanics, all time, our aim is find out the bearing capacity of soil or how much it will make. So in foundation, there is two types of some foundation. One is shallow foundation, another is deep foundation. So previous video I talk about shallow foundation. So here you may find some I button where right? you can check out my bearing capacity video. So in this video we will talk about how to calculate the bearing capacity or ultimate load bearing capacity or load carrying capacity of pi. So you want to learn this thing then definitely watch the video till the end brush up your concept and with your knowledge and if you know then you can skip it don't waste time here okay today's topic is load carry capacity of pi in shallow foundation there is a one process designed by Tensari then there are some changes modification but here the story is completely different here is various types of process so we will talk in this video so hope you enjoy and like the video so let's get started from this video if you want the period i will share the note as period okay so how you get the period I'll mention somewhere in between the video. So let's get started. This is third video of pile foundation. Okay. Previously, I talked about the pile diving. This time, I talked about the load carrying capacity. For pile foundation, for pile foundation, there are four types load carrying capacity process there is four types load carrying capacity process okay first is dynamic formula second is static formula third is pile load test pile load test and four is penetration test. So today we'll discuss these dynamic formula in detail. Next video we'll talk about static formula, pile load test, penetration test. So this video we'll talk about dynamic formula. Okay. Generally, dynamic formula has two types has two types. One is your ingenious ingenious or you can say engineering news formula. Another is Healy's formula. Some people are said Healy's formula. You just have to understand this. Healy's formula. First half of my video discuss about engineering news formula, then I discuss the Healy's formula, and then I will discuss the you can say limitation, limitation, or you can say disadvantage. Disadvantage of dynamic formula. So that three things we will discuss in this video. Okay. First, your engineering news formula. Second, Healy's formula, and third, limitation or disadvantage. Before starting this formula, I want to say this formula proposed by Proposed by, proposed by A. 
एम वेलिंगटन एग्जाम्पल नहीं आता है बट दिस इज फॉर जस्ट क्यूरियोसिटी ओके द फॉर्मूला इज क्यू इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू एच डिवाइडेड बाय एफ एस प्लस सी दिस क्यू इज योर एलोवेबल लो If you want, you can say Q equal to Q A. Then that should be Q A. So this is your wish. W equal to weight of hammer. Weight of hammer. H equal to height of fall. C equal to some empirical constant so you can say you can say this engineer news formula is empirical formula this is your empirical formula a is equal to final set part blow that means set is your penetration that means suppose this is your pi and height of fall this h or this weight of hammer is dropped to this pi suppose ten blows And that penetrate 50 mm. Then what is the average? 50 by 10 rows. Then this is your S. 5 mm per row. Okay. I hope how you find to this, you you can answer. so this is basics engineering news formula if you remember last video i talked about various types of hammer there should be some i button then you can check out various type of hammer i i discussed in my last video that is a chapter a video number 2 of in pi formation suppose so hammer should be your draw hammer if hammer is draw hammer then your equation should be qa that is equal to wh 6 by s plus 0.25 so for draw hammer c should be 0.25 if i consider If I compare these two equation, then C equal to this. Factor of safety equal to six. If hammer is your draw hammer, then Q A that is equal to W into H six by S plus two point five. That means if I compare this equation one. And equation two, then I can say factor of safety A is equal to six, and C equal to constant equal to two point five for drop hammer. And one more thing, I forgot to write here. What is the A? This is your factor of safety. Now say suppose it is your The hammer should be your single acting hammer, single acting steam hammer, single acting steam hammer. Then what happen? A value of A should be six, and value of C should be zero point two five. But if if Double 
acting single hammer then there should be some modification for the origin formula it should be q a equal to w plus there is something called a into p and this is called h divided by divided by 6 plus x plus 0.25 the this denomination is completely unchanged but that a into p is added with the previous formula then what is the a and what is the p what is your a and what is your p now a equal to double acting single hammer a equal to effective area of piston p equal to mean piston effective ratio so that is all about engineering news formula this is your main equation and if hammer is drop amount then this is your equation where f equal to 6 c equal to 0.25 if single acting steam hammer then formula is unchanged but f and f is unchanged c value is changed if double acting single hammer if c is unchanged but we add the extra two unit that is the a p where a is your effective area of piston and p is your mean piston pressure so that is the engineer's new formula if you want this note as pdf so in description you find a whatsapp number message on this number with a screenshot that you subscribe this channel and you mention the video name which note you need according to this we will send you the note as soon as possible and this is completely free now we talk about Hill's formula talk about the Hill's formula and this formula you can find in our Alice code Alice 2911 part 1 1964 so this is one insight regarding your Healy's formula what is the formula QA that is equal to eta H eta B as it is W into H is plus C by 2 if you observe this Healy formula with the engineering formula, then one is there is some dissimilarity. But in engineering formula, you will find the A. In Healy formula, there is NH, NB. You can find A's and you can find the C. C is the empirical formula. C is the value of C. 2.5. Otherwise, 0.25. For here, C is C by 2. That is common difference between engineer's formula and his formula. Now, what is QF? That is the ultimate load carry capacity. Ultimate load on pile. That means, engineer's file I formula talk about the allowable load where his formula talk about where his formula talks about ultimate load so if someone asks you what is the difference between his formula and engineer's formula you can say this 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 so you can talk about this four point minimum. Otherwise, W H is they are same, but here C equal to total compression. C equal to total compression. 
it is not the uh, not your empirical constant this is equal to c1 plus c2 plus c3 what is your c1 c2 c3 the c1 c2 c3 are they both are temporary elastic constant now i talk about what is eta h that is the efficiency efficiency of hammer and n b eta b that is equal to efficiency of hammer blow some question you find the value of n h n is given but if it's not given then what you do now find out the n b generally n h eta h should be given but sometimes n eta b is not given there is some formula if w greater than w greater than e b then n b equal to w plus e square p by w plus p. and if w less than e b then that is equal to sin w plus e square p by w plus p minus w minus e p by w plus p that's where now we talk to about now we talk about what is this e now e equal to generally coefficient of coefficient of restitution coefficient of restitution and that value should be almost 0.5 but they are given generally they have given the value of n h in if n is not given that is the formula and e should and in this case coefficient of restitution is given so that is our formula for Helix. Okay. I hope there is no doubt. If doubt, without further hesitation, do comment in comment section. Now, now we need to talk about some disadvantages. This advantage. This is best suited for coarse grain soil. If this is best suited for suit for coarse grain soil, then what about the other and the fine grain soil so that is a biggest disadvantage there is some issue about soil resistation or soil resistance for clay you cannot apply this because in this formula there is no scope of what skin friction skin friction next there is no scope of or no provision for settlement in further energy loss due to vibration heat is neglected this is another disadvantage the hills formula there is lots of constant so not it's a user friendly for his formula so these six are the basic disadvantage in engineers formula so these are the basic disadvantage in our engineers formula that is why we'll do a next process in next video so in this video i talk about dynamic formula in dynamic formula i discuss engineer formula and we talk about if the hammer is changed or type of hammer is changed then what will be the final outcome then we talk about the hillis formula there are lots of constant and but i show i am showing you how to find out all these constants 
and in the meantime i discussed the difference between engineering formula and hill's formula as well as i talk about what is the disadvantage of these two formula or what is the disadvantage of engineering formula so i hope there will be no doubt if you have doubt so definitely my humble request do comment in comment section without hesitation because it's free and if you think you learn something new from my video definitely like the video share with your friends your group and for more video or getting such kind of video subscribe the channel and for notification press the bell icon so till then bye bye take care and once again thank you for watching this video and next video i will talk about static formula for pile foundation and that is so easy so cool formula so further i will say thank you for watching this video stay healthy stay safe till then bye keep learning